We were talking about getting Greek food, and this is traditional Greek cuisine. Are you ready? Oompa! Right, let's go. Okay, we decided to go Greek because we are in Greek town and they have chicken samosas here. Here is that. Those are like sandwiches. It's got lettuce, tomato, pickles, of course chicken and garlic sauce. Falful. You could also get a cheeseburger or a lamb burger. And I, I right away when I first came in here, when they have that thing outside, they have the gyro plate or just the gyro by itself. Lamb kebab, or chicken kebab, lamb kebab, mimosa, or moussaka. I probably have butchered most of these names, but uh, it's pretty nice. They have even New York strip steaks, lamb chops. I had lamb chops yesterday at Longhorn, so I'm not gonna go with that, but isn't lamb in a gyro too, Michelle? I, yes. think, I think it is. But hey, I enjoy lamb, so I'm gonna end up going with that. Okay. But you, you're not, a, you already told me it straight up that you're not a fan of lamb. <laughs> because I think of Mary okay. all the time. So you, you wanna try the chicken no, I, shawarma. I already, I, I already think I know what I'm gonna get. And what is that? We're gonna get the spicy fiata. Spicy, spicy, is that a thing here? Mm -hmm. Is that in the back or where is that? It's on the starters. Starters. Mm -hmm. You're gonna eat a starter for your dinner. Yes. Spicy feed up. Okay. All right. And something else to go with it. Well, I'll bring you guys back when she figures it out. Because we're just walked in the door. Okay. She said she decided. What are you gonna okay, go? Okay. I'm gonna go with a Greek lasagna. A Greek lasagna. Wow. Just that sounds like that would be interesting. A good video opportunity. I would definitely have to agree with you on that. Oompa. Now, why do you keep saying that? Oompa. Oompa? That's yeah. what they say. They're but great. go back to... Because when we went our first time ever to Toledo in okay. Greek Town, it was in our bowling tournament in 05. Yeah. And we had very good friends of Phil and Tina, and they went to this exact restaurant after right. the bowling tournament. And, and uh, they went to Greek. This Greek restaurant, yeah. and on the way back, you know, they were a little tipsy, and we would always go, Oompa! Okay, so that's the story behind the story. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that's kind of cool story. I like that. And, yeah. and, 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 and no offense, when we were all getting tipsy and hit bumps on the turnpike, we would go, Oompa! Just so you know, Michelle, Michelle does Oompa randomly <laughs> without alcohol in her system. Mm -hmm. So if you ever are around her and she goes, Oompa, now you know why. All right. Oompa to this video. Nice. <laughs> okay, this is the feta. It's the appetizer. And you get four pitas, and they are warm to the touch and, and soft. I mean, that you can definitely feel that they're, they're warm. Okay? And this is like the feta. And you could have those olives over there. <laughs> I must be part Greek. There's a lot of, of topping for just a few pitas, so. And I'm gonna put one of these little peppers on there. Just like that. All right. There you go, Michelle, you can film me I'm giving this a shot, because I need both hands, and it's still recording. All right, this is my first time ever eating a, a feta. It's like a pita shell, and I'm sure there's like feta cheese on there. Mm. The reason why it's orange is like a hot sauce built into it. You know, like um, Frank's Red Hot? Yes. It's built into the feta cheese. So it's got some heat to it, Michelle. So, it's pretty good. 
Now, I'm gonna put you on the spot and you can do it. <laughs> okay, Michelle's gonna go, give it a shot. Now, I, like I said, it's like a, um, you know how you get your original chicken wings that's got the hot sauce on it? Well, that's kind of like the sauce that's mixed in with the feta. Like a lot, little bit of heat there. And we ended up going with water today, so that'll help wash that down for you really good. Oh, wow. And there's Thank Michelle's you. salad. Ooh, that looks really good with the more feta cheese on top. And there's a beets over there and some olives. And Greek dressing, if you Greek, remember. That's Greek dressing. Since we got the camera going, you want to slide that over there and give that a shot real quick there, Michelle? I did not get the salad. I went with french fries, boring french fries. Ooh, got chickpeas in there. Nice. Oh, wow. Does, oh, that, yeah. does that work with your with that feta cheese on there? Oh, yeah. That is good. If you want to try Try some. one of those beets. I want to see if you like the beets. Do you actually like beets, Michelle? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And it helps uh, control the sugar, and there's a lot of potassium in there. Okay. I didn't know that. Thank you. FYI information from Michelle. Mm -hmm. Is the cold like... supposed to be cold? Is that cold? Mm -hmm. Okay. The only thing I just don't like is the pepper beans. Mm. Well, you could put that on the side. Uh, there you go. I'm going to get back to eating my feta. And Michelle, good luck with your, sa your salad over there. Mm -hmm. Now, while I was still working on my feta, Michelle and my entrees came out. So we're really backed up over here. And Michelle Wright tried her lasagna. What do you think? That is really good. Oh, look at the, the meat in there. Ooh, that's ground like, up uh, lamb. That's, oh, I thought you went with, oh, it is lamb in there? Mm -hmm. Ground up lamb. But you like that, don't I mean, you said you weren't a fan of lamb. <laughs> Ooh. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, enough check of that. Check everybody, check your okay. waters. Give it a try. I'm going to convert you over to being a, a lamb person now. I didn't go lamb fan, okay? <laughs> and this is what I have. The, the ketchup is for the fries. And then you have the, the traditional sauce that goes with your gyro. You could either go gyro or gyro. I've always called it a gyro, but I was corrected lately, so I'm gonna put some of that on there. And then some of this on there. Wow. And I'm gonna bring you guys back when I have this fully assembled. But this stuff, oh, that stuff is good. There's the inside of the lasagna. Wow. And I'm a fan of lasagna, so I'm kind of jealous of you right now. Okay. How's it going? All right, this is the gyro or gyro, however you want to count. And good luck to me because I don't know how I'm going to handle this, okay? Wow. That's lamb meat in here with onions. And that um, I wish I knew the name of the sauce, but that's that's what makes it really work together with the tomato. Does it have cucumbers and ranch, maybe? I'm sorry. No, you had to ask that question, didn't you? <laughs> but it comes with the tomato, the onions, and that's the side that I got with the French fries. It's really good. Let's try one more bite. I'm about halfway through my gyro, gyro, and I do have one minor complaint. Um, the meat is, like some of it is, like, I, you gotta remember, yesterday I had this really tender piece of meat with the lamb chops. And if you're thinking that the meat on here is gonna be really soft and tender, then think again, because some of these uh, pieces are kinda hard. And I'm not sure if it's supposed to be that way, if you guys know, is the gyro meat supposed to be on the hard side? Let me know. Put it in the comments. I'm not an expert on lamb 
gyro meat, but it is really good. It's very tasty. I just am not sure the meat over there is kind of on the hard side, but that's okay. I'm, I'm, we're doing good. How are you coming over there, Michelle? Wow, you're almost done with your thing. So you really like your lasagna, don't you? All right. And it's been easy to chew for you and everything? Well, that's a bonus right there. And your like salad the... is like an afterthought right now. But do you think you're going to be able to finish all of that? or Probably. You don't force it. The bottom line is that you can always take what you can't home with us. Okay. I'm still looking at those lamb chops that are in the refrigerator mm -hmm. that you didn't finish yesterday. So whatever you don't finish, I can help you with that, okay? Oh, Mary <laughs> okay. won't have any meals. So. There you go. Okay, I figured a way around the, the dryness of the meat. Just load it up with that dipping sauce and some tomato, and away we go. Right there. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Much better to chew that way. Oh yeah. Okay, so Michelle, what did you think of the uh, the Greek? It was really good. I yeah. you know like ground up lamb. Never had that either before. But that was good, that lasagna version of yeah. theirs. Well, I, I, aside from, you know, the outer parts of that meat being kind of on the hard side, the, the, the gyro gyro was pretty good. And the feta, I don't think I would get that again because it was a, a strong flavor. It was, it, it was okay, but I wouldn't say it was something that I would say, I got to have that again. Right. All right. And your salad, you, you enjoyed your salad. The only so, thing I did not like about my salad, you know how much I love my olives, everyone, yeah. right? They had pits in the middle of it. So oh. when you bit into the salad, yeah. ow, ow, ow. Well, mm -hmm. this ends the Michelle part of this video. I'm going to take the bakery back to the car, and we're going to head over and play a slot machine at the casino. So if you're not into gambling, then this is where the, Indian, the, the video ends. But I hope you'll stick around to the end. If not, thanks for watching. The All right. Oofa Detroit Sunday. Fun day. Woo! That's right. Okay. <laughs>